Welcome back to GP Outdoors. I had a question from a subscriber this past week and I've had that question a few times. So I thought I'd make a short video and see if maybe I could help out or answer a little bit. The question was, why do I have a snowblower and a rear blade? Isn't just one of them good enough? Like, do you really need both? And I've had that similar question a few times before. So as you folks know, I'm no expert by any means, but I'll give you my thoughts and opinions and explain to you why I do. I think the main determination as to what type of snow removal equipment you have for your tractor is highly dependent on your type of property or, you know, more importantly, your driveway. You know, you may have an asphalt or paved driveway or a concrete driveway, or maybe you've got four to six inches of good solid gravel base, nice and flat and smooth. I don't think the length of it has much to do other than whether or not you want to, you know, throw a front snowblower on versus a rear snowblower. But at the end of the day, it's what you need to do to that driveway to keep it clear during the winter and through the climate that you experience where you live. In my particular case, as you know, I don't have much of a driveway here. It's basically a path cut through the forest. So it's a mix of dirt, earth, boulders, rocks, all kinds of different grades of gravel that have been thrown ad hoc at different places around the driveway throughout the years. Not really any level or flat area to speak of. The driveway constantly has undulations and it has no real level. So for me, in our climate here in the wintertime, we get a lot of swings in temperature from really severe negative temperatures to positive temperatures. In fact, we've got some big positive temperatures coming this week and it's, it's January. And we get a lot of snow up here. So I need something that's really efficient and effective at moving large quantities of snow out of that driveway. Snowblower. But I also need something that's going to blade down or shave that driveway right down to base or as close to base as possible through different periods of the winter when the temperature changes dramatically or when we have changing conditions on that driveway. So the way I kind of look at it is I've got basically a broadsword out the front and I've got a scalpel in the back. So on today's video, what I've done is I've cleared the parking area and the driveway leading into the parking area. And what I've done is I've used the blade in some cases, sometimes I've used just the blower alone, and in some parts I've used the blade and the blower so that you can see the difference in the effect or the results of each of these attachments. So simply put, the blade is like a scalpel. It'll drag and scrape as much of the free snow off of the base of the driveway so that it gets it down as low as possible. The snowblower, on the other hand, will always leave some little bit of residue of snow. Currently, I've got that blower up as high as it'll go because I always do that this part of the year. But generally speaking, even when I put the blower down as low as it'll go in the skid shoes, you're always going to get 
some kind of a base, maybe an inch, two inches of snow left over underneath that blower. And although I found over the last few winters that quite often it's good to have a couple of inches of snow as a base over top of the gravel or the, the bare driveway, the skid shoes really do their job on this blower. This thing weighs 450 pounds, but despite its weight, if you've got ice, uh, hard packed snow, or whatever the surface is, the skid shoes will always bring the blower up on top of that hard surface. The blower doesn't dig. It rides on top of whatever the hardest surface is below it, and it'll blow the snow off above that. And over time, you start to build up more and more of a base. And generally speaking, having a little bit of a base, nice hard base on top of the driveway for the winter, it's not a bad thing. Blower does its job. I got a couple inches of base, it's all good. Until you get to a week like this week, where they're forecasting plus 10 degrees Celsius temperatures and several days of warm, sunny weather. So that means the blower is not gonna be a lot of help this week. Because remember, I've got ground below me that's frozen solid. I have several inches of packed snow on top, and I'm gonna have several days of really warm, sunny weather. That means that snow is gonna to start to melt. There's nowhere for the water to go though, because the ground's frozen. So as it's been year after year, when you get that kind of temperature swings that suddenly, and you've got snow in the driveway that's not scraped out, I'm gonna end up with a lot of slush because that melted snow has nowhere to go. So we bring in the rear blade. Rear blade is gonna scrape that driveway right down as bare as possible before we start getting those warm temperatures. So for me, that's why I have both of these two attachments on the tractor. I could probably get away with one or the other, but it would just make life a whole lot more difficult. So each one of them does a specific purpose and I use them when I need to use them as the climate changes throughout the winter. But at the end of the day, these implements work really well for me, for my application and my needs here. Where you live or the type of driveway you have is gonna determine what type of snow removal equipment is best for you. I hope the video has been helpful today and has answered the question. If you like the channel, please click subscribe Hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting more videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families. I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.